Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room and back to Crafty Christmas. So today I have another kind of geeky project. Although this one, you could do pretty much any kind of geekiness. <laughs> as long as you can find a book that has what you're looking for. <laughs> but I have to tell you, Goodwill has pretty much any kind of book you would think you would need, I swear. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to even look for what you need, because you're just like, oh, this would look cute, put it in the cart. Oh, this would look cute, put it in the cart. <laughs> it's very easy to get distracted. <laughs> but I found these really cool Batman books, and I thought they would just make the coolest banners so, of course, I had to go ahead and make them, and one of the coolest things is you have the option of the, remember the frozen um, junk journal that I made? I also made the Batman one, and I used the same book that I took these pages from, so it's a very hand-in-hand um, -hand sort of two projects. So if you have a Batman, well, if you have a person you are gifting the junk journal to, or the photo album, whatever you want to call it, then you can also make them this book page banner, and then, you know, that's them. That's They're checked off the list. <laughs> So, of course, you know, there's the Frozen. I was going to do a Beauty and the Beast one, but then I found, well, um, Polly had sent these really cool pinwheels, and I was like, okay, I have to do a Joker theme, <laughs> because they're just perfect for the Joker. So I ended up doing a Joker and a Batman, and, but of course, Beauty and the Beast would have been really cool too, just add some little roses some yellow or gold ribbon. Um, i trying to think. I found a mini book, Mickey book. Um, gosh, there's so many Disney books out there. There's also different, like, seasonal books. You could do Christmas banners. Oh, that would be fun. And then just make the you know, the actual book into the junk journal slash photo album. And then, oh, this would be such a good gift for an expecting mother. Do like a little golden book and then have the banner and then give it to her for a baby shower gift or even for Christmas, baby's first Christmas maybe. And then she can put it in the nursery along with the photo album. And then she can fill the photo album with her photos that she takes of baby. I, that would be so fun. <laughs> but, you know, the sky is the limit with any of these really projects that I've done. So it's just kind of, who are you getting a gift for or making a gift for? What do they like? Okay, would they enjoy having a banner and book uh, or photo album, or would they like any of the other gifts? So, <laughs> just kind of like a mix and match kind of thing. Like, oh, this person would like this, and then they like this, and yeah. <laughs> it's such an interesting, cool concept that I think is really going well with you guys. But, um, so for this this banner... I did the Joker and then I did the Batman. And for the Joker, of course, they're from the same book, actually. Uh, and from the same book as the photo album as well. So it's kind of neat that they both have this tendency of being a darker blue and a purpley color. So when I had these blue, or not blue, black and purple bats, I was like, ooh, these have to go with that book. And then Polly gave me those pinwheels, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Joker, just right away, these are going to go on a Joker banner. <laughs> so it was really neat how these two just really worked out, and then me finding the things to go along with it just really helped kind of set the stage for this project. And 
they are like the perfect size for this banner. The pages ended up being four and a quarter by seven and a half, I think. But of course, you know, you can measure it to the size of <clears throat> uh, pay whatever page size you have, or you could even slim them down to be a smaller banner piece. I did only do three actual banner pieces because I didn't want to have a very overwhelming banner. <laughs> this one is just going to be like a little accent banner, you know? <laughs> I didn't want to, because especially when you start working on more pieces, it tends to get very squished and then things start to bend and I don't want that to happen because the book pages are rather flimsy so I wanted it to be just a very you know it can tuck together and be put in a little gift box and then they can take it out hang it up and it won't really be in contact with movement a lot because it is only three pieces the wind isn't going to really move it much. Now, if there were like so many other pieces to it, then it might kind of start to wear a little bit more. And so I think the three pieces work really nicely and it looks really good, especially with the amount of accents that I had, the little bat pieces, and then also the, um, the pinwheels because I only had three pinwheels so I thought okay I'll just put them right on top and oh, it works out nicely <laughs> and then the bats I just had enough to put in between each section of the banner and oh they just they turn out so good I just love them and of course if you wanted them to be a little bit more durable you know go ahead and put some cardstock on the back i just wanted it to be able to you could see either side of the um of the banner so that if you did want to flip it you could but those are the book page banners i hope you enjoy them i hope you're having a crazy day good crazy not bad crazy and i'll see you in the next one bye guys